वर्ष नंबर ट्वेल्व नवर्णाश्रम संकेत न कर्मोपासना ब्रह्म ज्ञान विना मुक्ष वेदात डिंडिम सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर सींग दिस वर्स दैट मोक्ष द लिबरेश इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी गेन्ड और अचीव्ड बिकॉज ऑफ माई सोशियल स्टैटस Like I am a Brahman, I am a Kshatriya, I am a Vaishya or Shudra. Even though we look at this Varna Vyavastha based on Guna and Karma, not necessary Jati, not by birth, because that is the highest or healthiest way to look at. and also ashram whether i am a brahmachari or a grihastha or banaprastha or a sanyasi because people have this notion another one is karma upasana adi bhi no sound karma upasana adi bhi neither any sort of action Nor any sort of upasana. Please understand. Almost all religious people and all ashrams, New Age swamis, followers, devotees, do come under this category. Like somebody says, because I was doing seva to my Guru Maharaj, I am. I'll be liberated. Somebody says I was doing seva to the organization. I'll be liberated. Somebody says I was born to such and such family. That's why I'll be liberated. I'm not telling you jokes. This is what continuously continues. But here, remember, Brahma Jnana Vina Bhukshayti. Without Brahma Jnana, so Brahma Jnana means what? I am Brahman. It's a very something very nice to understand, nice to look at. Like yesterday, I was talking to a Swami. Okay, because this is you no know, contextually, I can bring it. So when I was talking to a Swami, he gave me discourse because when they get opportunity, they give a very good discourse. But it's a very nice, good piece of information. Okay, so when we book ride. Uh, Uh, this sort of si book so please remind me there will be one chapter this is called raga and dvesha so he gave me the clue so i can bring it very nicely so he was saying which is very good piece of information which really i respected him this angle so he said swami ji that life is full of raga and dvesha and it is like oven and there is called samsara so like how the thread sorry how this uh, cloth any cloth to make what we need to have vertical and horizontal the both the threads have to go two ways one is vertically other one is horizontally so also raga dvesha is a very good thing i really appreciated so raga dvesha is being woven and that is how the creation called a dress a uh, a cloth So you are saying, Swami Ji, this is what life is. I said, thank you very much. Really, I appreciate you. But where was your ragadvesha when the incident happened? <laughs> when somebody talked to you, why didn't you inform that person, Swami Ji? Yeah, ragadvesha. This is who all about ragadvesha. So your teaching starts when you find out somebody is weaker. like in a family we all do you must be doing so when there is some issue the elderly person start teaching the weaker 
and poor weaker is always suppressed and will not have any chance to open the mouth. So this is called so-called Brahma Jnana. And the person again said, Swamiji, this is all about the theory. I wanted to hit myself. Hey, God said, never say that Vedanta is a theory. That means you do not know, understand anything about Vedanta. Please, all of you, even if you are a dream, never say Vedanta is a theory. But the whole teaching goes to ducks. And finally said, Swamiji, we have to be be good, do good. I said, this is what your problem. I don't know who stole this statement. There is nothing called be good, do good. Being, please understand, I, this is the teaching, is being one's oneself. Remember, being one's oneself. Oh God. Today is what is going on. Sorry. Being one's oneself good thing will happen in life. In fact, I have to tell this point. Remember, these are the Brahma Jnanam other side. Unassimilated Brahma Jnanam, undigested Brahma Jnanam, or without proper methodology of teaching, without studying scripture under a teacher systematically. So that's why if you have not exposed to a Brahma Jnanam systematically, means without methodology of teaching, you will get stuck in what? Karma Upasanadi. This is the link I am giving it, okay? And that is how all ashrams run. That is how all religious setup runs. Promising that you will be liberated. Promising that you will go to heaven. Promising that you will be happy. And only it is in the name of promise, nothing else. That's why, na barna asrama sankatehi. That is what, there is no social status involved. No smartness, no family background, no exposure. But it is all about Brahma Jnana. Now, if that is the case, but Brahma Jnana is not that easy. Because Brahma Jnana to get unfolded, no doubt we need a teacher, but mind has to be prepared. To prepare the mind is not a joke. That's why karma upasanadi is very much useful, is very much really needed. When we have to prepare our mind for the preparation, not for anything else. That's why it says beautifully that when your mind is prepared, you will start seeing everything as it is. Remember, this is the most important point. When mind is prepared, you will start seeing everything as it is. If you want to put psychologically, you can say, when you are matured, or a mature mind can see both strength and weaknesses of one's own self. If you are not matured, either you will see your weakness or sometimes you will see your strength only. Only when I am able to see both of my weaknesses and strength at a time, that time I am a mature person. That is what the karma and upasana does. And when this person is matured, what happens? Let us read verse number 13. Asatya sarvasam saraha rasabhasa didushitaha upekshyo brahma vijnayam Iti Vedanta Dindimaha. So this is proclamation in Vedanta or this is what Vedanta Shastra highlights. In different ways, different means, different times. And what is that he says? Sarva samsaraha asatya iti. So samsara, very nicely as you know, this is our uh, common and popular joke. So, people think some way or other, samsara is Tamil samsara. 
So in Tamil Nadu, samsara means what? I love you know, correct? Wife, okay? So wife is called samsara in Tamil Nadu. So as the wife is the cause of all problem. Now if we ask wife, wife will say, you know, husband is the cause of all problem. <laughs> I am not telling you jokes. And along with the husband, you know, mother-in-law. <laughs> it's added, okay? <laughs> anyway, whether it is a Tamil samsara or North India samsara or half-baked samsara, you understand? So people think samsara means pointing out to others. Please understand. The concept of samsara anywhere and everywhere is to point out others and that to the object of my frustration, object of my all sort of negative tendencies or difficulties that I come across. But when wife becomes good to me, that time wife is no more called samsara, becomes Lakshmi. Gruha Lakshmi. And sometimes, as you know, becomes what? Chandramukhi. You know, this is the word we have. Very beautiful words, okay? Those who, men will enjoy this thing. And women, of course, will enjoy. So when the wife brings little tea, coffee or serves or takes care of parents, that time becomes Chandramukhi. Chandramukhi means the Mukham. Mukham means the face, okay? Pukham, mukham or the face becomes so pleasant like Chandra, like moon. Gives light, but doesn't give heat. Can you see this point? <laughs> and beautiful. What a beautiful combination. And every man dreams. <laughs> every man dreams this. But if she becomes little bit indifferent, she becomes what? Yes, Surya Mukhi. And why Surya Mukhi? You know Surya Mukhi. Surya keeps changing. Surya means the sun, okay? Morning, one mood. Forenoon, another mood. Noon, of course, different mood altogether. Afternoon, forget. And evening. So how the mood fluctuates, so also the lady mood fluctuates. So that's why she becomes Surya Mukhi. That is also manageable, acceptable. That's why every man, especially after 40s, they run away from the home, okay? <laughs> and in fact, they complain that we should not stay in the home, okay? Work from home is dangerous now. <laughs> this is the present scenario. Finally, same lady becomes what? Called Jwala Mukhi. Somebody, sometimes they say Agni Mukhi. But Jwala Mukhi is right, okay? <laughs> so Jwala means, you know, the fire has a flame. Brilliant flame. So it only burns, nothing else. So that time it becomes, in fact, the lady should be only that. Because today is Navaratri, so that's why I have to support ladies today, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> However, coming back to the point, the truth, the reality is this. Samsara is not a pointing out to others. Samsara is something, life of becoming. So as long as in me there is a sense of becoming, because of life of becoming, that long I am a samsari. Can you see this point? So the one who lives in samsara is called a samsari. So samsari means what? Samsari, when I say, there is a sense in me. And what is that sense? Sense of becoming. Because I am not comfortable with myself, who am I? Whatever I have, that's why I want to become. So that is what is being highlighted. Remember, sarva samsara haiti. The entire life of becoming, which has its own root in sense of becoming, to be understood as asatyam. So when he says asatyam, so asatyam means what? Not truth. So how it is? Because it does not appear as it is. That's why we call it as delusion. We call it as mithya. What we call as sometimes adhyasaiti. It is being superimposed. And what sort of superimposition? Next point says, rasa vasadi dushita haiti. So dushita means tainted, swilled by. 
So what is that? Tainted by what? Contaminated by what? That is some type of projection. So what sort of projection? Rasa Abhasad. Only we start projecting the goodness of the creation. Sense of becoming. Like starts with, as a child, I was highlighting that if I can become a graduate, sorry, if I can go to university, appa, nothing like that. Do you know why? In our time. Nowadays it's different. In our time, when we used to school in, uh, study in the school, we have to go in the half pant. And whereas in the university, they will go in the full pant. Wow! And the best part is, in university, everything is free. No professors can say anything to you. Whereas in schools, only beating nothing else. Okay? So we used to dream that how to get into university. I'm not telling jokes. I have done that also. Okay, also, okay? So only we started projecting the goodness of becoming called university student. Can you see this point? Same thing also when we started studying in university, upper painful, how to get job. So I want to now highlight the goodness in getting job. After getting job, how to get married or have fiancé. You understand? And goes on and on. And finally nothing happens. How to end up in ashram. <laughs> Best example me, okay? I am giving it, okay? <laughs> so everywhere there is sense of becoming. So this sense of becoming, the samsara, is always projected as good. And as long as the projection is there with reference to goodness, definitely I would like to become. Can you see this point? That's why one has to clearly understand that the sense of becoming is a natural process, but there is nothing good on about it. So once the person understands that there is nothing good about it, it is a natural process. It will happen. Let it happen. But there is nothing called good. In fact, it has also bad. Now, what is to be done? That's why once you understand this, then what you do? Upekshayati. So one need to learn to ignore. So how to ignore? Being indifferent to it. Because ignoring, ignoring does not mean you are tired of it. You are fed up with it. Because if you are ignoring something or somebody, because you are tired of it, or you are fed up of it, both way, that not healthy at all. Here when we say upekshya, it is to be ignored, learning to be indifferent. So that indifference in me happens when there is maturity. When I see the both, can you see this point? I see the positive, I see the negative. That is called maturity. I see my strength, also I see my weakness. Then only I can be indifferent to any situation. I can be indifferent to anybody, anything in my life. That's why once a person is indifferent to the sense of becoming, then of course what happens? Brahma Vigyamiti because you cannot allow the mind to keep quiet. This is what people have go through, the hell, I can say. Some type of, do you know, allergy takes place in them. Some type of, they, they sometimes they get fed up of, of samsara. Something happens to them. Then they run away and come to ashram. Then after coming to the ashram, what they do? The Swami runs ashram, Swami needs donkeys. And that too, in the name of Karma Yoga. Then the person ends up in Karma Yoga. So if you end up in Karma Yoga, then why did you leave the house? Better to do the Karma there in your house. At least you would have salary, you understand? You will have security. So working there 10 years, 5 years, 20 years in the ashram, you are good for nothing. Can you see this point? I am not telling you jokes. This is the truth, this is the reality, this is the painful situation. That's why after doing the upeksha, being indifferent, not getting rid of, you understand, this is the problem happens. You need to be Brahma Vigyam 
कम टू आश्रम अप्रोच ए स्वामी टू स्टडी नॉट टू सर्व यू कैन सर्व आउट ऑफ ग्रैटिट्यूड नॉट आउट ऑफ स्लैवरी नॉट आउट ऑफ हेल्पलेसनेस कैन यू से दिस पॉइंट Whole life to work, nothing wrong in it. But out of gratitude, what else to do? Can you see this point? So Brahma Vigyami thi. So Brahman is to be known, to be studied. One is supposed to put effort to know Brahman. So once you start putting effort to know Brahman, automatically you will discover that even if you are fed up of something. Now slowly you will start becoming indifferent to that, or else in life you will have regret. That's why I see most of the religious people, most of the spiritual people, so-called spiritual people, only full of regrets. But when it comes to the discourse, you see, like no raga dvesha. <laughs> Where we started, okay. In fact, I allowed that Swami to talk. Then he tried to complain and only full of regrets, nothing else. <laughs> so coming to this point, so this is what I am supposed to do. So Brahman to be, then how is it possible? Brahman to be known, to be understood. How is it possible? That's why you need to look at few points. Verse number fourteen, one four. वृथा क्रिया वृथा लापन वृथा बादान मनोरथन त्यक्ते कम ब्रह्म विज्ञेयम इति वेदांत डिंडे महाम एग्ज़ाम दिस इज़ व्हाट इज़ बिंग हाइलाइटेड टॉक्ड इन ऑल वेदांत सास्त्र सो दिस इज़ द ड्रम This is the proclamation of Vedanta, and what is that all about? It? He says, "Look, you need to, in order to know Brahma, Brahma Vigyamiti, you need to take care of few points, few things, as all of you know. That mind is a unique river, as river." As in a river, water flows from upward to downward. So also the thought and thinking process flows from one end to another end. But interestingly, this river has got only upward to downward moment. whereas this mind river has got double moment upward to downward downward to upward this is the uniqueness of mind river and this uniqueness of mind river is another thing that in a river when water flows along with the water also log of wood or anything and everything can also flow whereas in mind river at a time only one thought will flow not two types that's why i say they say beautifully when there is rama there cannot be kama and when there is kama there cannot be rama so when there is lord rama's name let us say lord's name that time there cannot be desire and when there is desire there cannot be rama so to highlight that is being highlighted here you need to take care of few things as all of you know technically like a physical body especially has got its own limits each one of you you can do the push up 20 30 40 50 or 100 depends upon your practice and body but each one of us has got own limit if you do more than that definitely body is going to collapse after some time that's why all these body builder they become sick after some time because they overuse their body so as the body has its own limitation so also the mind 
बॉडी केस में भी फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड पुशअप इन माइंड केस डिपेंड्स अपन वन थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड मच मच मोर सो इन ए डे यू कैन टेक दीज मेनी डिसीजन्स यू कैन टेक दीज मेनी यू कैन थिंक ऑफ दीज मेनी थिंग्स ईच वन हैज गट ओन लिमिटेशन रिमेम्बर दिस मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बट वॉट हैपन्स टू ऑल ऑफ अस मॉर्निंग वी गेट अप we waste minimum 100 to 200 thoughts whether to get up or not to get up <laughs> poor alarm will ring <laughs> again you start thinking so by that time you keep your foot on the ground already 500 thoughts have gone which can be done in one or two maximum or 10 maximum 10 is too much actually same thing whether to take shower or not another few hundred <laughs> for each ordinary thing we waste so many things and when we do that we are already tired and exhausted that's why whenever you say that you are tired and exhausted mentally that means you have wasted your mind unnecessarily you have engaged your mind unnecessarily that's why you don't have any energy you are not any more you are no more a productive person that's why to take care of that he says if you are not a productive person how can you understand vedanta please understand impossible to understand vedanta or brahman is a waste of time that's why sometimes i see that all do you know burdened people they end up to understand brahman <laughs> in ashrams <laughs> which is a very unfortunate thing that's why he says what is to be done brutha kriya brutha lapa अननेसेसरी वेस्टफुल मीनिंगलेस अनवर्दी डिपेंड्स अपन कंटेक्स्ट सो वृथा क्रिया द एक्शन दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू ब्रिंग एनी रेजल्ट ग्रोथ इन मी वेस्टफुल एक्शन same thing also brutha alapan unnecessarily honor the gossiping just to waste time killing time and of course brutha vadan arguments discussions which has no value just to prove one own self i am right that's why we say one speaks other listens to both of them are called wise whereas one speaks other do not listen to both of them become otherwise and all these badas brutha badas are called proving one own self to be to be otherwise that's why in traditional teaching we don't allow that's why only sambad the teacher and student bad with the same student same level student you discuss somebody say swami ji we should discuss hey, who are you to discuss with me <laughs> because discussion can be happen only when both are friends in the same level of understanding however coming to the point so badan bruthait so the badha the discussion where you are not going to learn anything but you want to present that you know or you want to find out whether other person knows or not so that is called as a brutha is wasteful it is meaningless that also to be really given up and moreover manorathan the desires manorathan is a very nice word okay do you know mind is like a chariot and the desires takes over this chariot enjoys and the worst part is without a charioter no rain nothing god knows where they go interesting mind we have interesting thing so that desires also to be care- carefully looked at then only have been giving up tyaktwa so when he say having given up means having grown out of it because there is nothing to give up in life i remember i cannot forget 
देर इज ए ब्यूटिफुल स्टेटमेंट कॉल त्यागात शांति सो बाई रिनाउंसिएशन बाय गिविंग अप ओनली देर इज ए शांति वन स्वामी नाउ आई गेट लॉट ऑफ स्वामी जोक्स ओके बिकॉज यू कैनॉट स्टैंड फॉर ए मिनिट विथ दैम सो शैलो इन थिंकिंग वन स्वामी टेल्स टू अनादर स्वामी आई हैव टेन्स टू बी देर स्वामी जी नाउ आई अंडरस्टूड वेदांत इज ए प्रैक्टिकल बट वॉट ए फनी स्टेटमेंट कैन यू सी एंड इज टॉकिंग टू अनादर स्वामी दैट स्वामी ऑल्सो ब्रेनलेस इज यस यस and i happen to be there okay <laughs> okay because sometimes i keep quiet and what is because i wanted to know do you know what is that it seems that previous swami was having some constipation and he came to another swami another swami gave a churnam a medicine and after that taking that medicine meditation he had tyagam okay <laughs> he allowed his things to go away and now he says vedanta is practical because of your medicine everything could went away tyagat anantaram shanti i am not telling you jokes this is i have heard i could not tolerate and this is called vedanta discussion and they are called as vedantins <laughs> okay so how here tyaga is not going to the toilet openly <laughs> because nothing to do so this is what please here is learning to grow out of it not giving up please understand so when we use the word tyaga in scripture it is all about how to grow out of it so whole process is me growing out of it that's why he says once i learn to grow out of all these things brutak kriya wasteful actions that i do unnecessary like morning getting up thinking to take uh, not to take shower first thing is whether to get up get up or not to get up then continues same thing also brutha alapan gossiping there are people when they don't find anything to do they will start gossiping in the facebook you understand or some people start talking to one self looking at the mirror start talking it there are different type of people don't worry okay and however also brutha badan looking at talking to one self well, i am right proving one one self that i am right all the time and of course manorathan different type of desires once the person grows out of this then mind is stable mind is available for what for brahma gyanam ब्रह्म विज्ञेम सो द ब्राह्मण इज टू बी अंडरस्टूड टू बी नोन नॉट टू बी एक्सपीरियंस प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट नो वे आर इन द स्क्रिप्चर एक्सपीरियंस इज बिंग टॉक बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली एवरीबडी टॉक्स ऑन एक्सपीरियंस दिस इज द मोस्ट अनफॉर्चुनेट थिंग हैपन्स सो दैट्स वाई वंस दिस इज वाट This is called Iti Vedanta Dindi Maha. Let us read the next verse. Then we'll see tomorrow. Stito Brahmaatmana Jiva Brahma Jiva Atmana Stitam Iti Sanspasyata Mukti Iti Vedanta Dindi Maha. please close your eyes om om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shant shant shanti shanti